everyone, it's Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd and um, I may be a little obsessed with um, purchasing Diamond Art Club kits. Um, I'm not going to make a habit of it, but I have picked up a few recently. So I've done one unboxing of the um, Something in the Air, I think it's called, uh, the Jack and Sally one. Um, and I've just been picking these off, up off of um, D-Stash group. So there's a group on Facebook and the other one that I bought was off of eBay. Um, so I saw this one and um, I really loved it and she was selling it for a really reasonable price. So um, this one is called The Whispered Word Lenore um, and it's by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. Now I'll move it slightly into shot here. Um, this one is a massive 70 by 87. Now that's, this is going to be the biggest one that I've done um, and so yeah i'm excited and also nervous about the size of the canvas um so i'm going to get this out of here and there's no way you're going to be able to see all of this in shot but um and i'm sure there's other unboxing videos of this kit but i just wanted to share in the excitement of um getting hold of my first few diamond art club kits so let's take a look okay this is the top so let's turn her around and we are really going to have to just look at it bit by bit because this canvas is massive but look oh my goodness me it's absolutely gorgeous so i've got the sticker sheet there and i'll show you um i'll show you the, the picture in a minute and then all the way to the bottom so we have this kind of like a goth girl um which i love just reminds me of my youth um and she sat in front of a full moon and we've got like a crow here and um <clears throat> i'm just gonna pretend that those are birds and not bats because i have a bat phobia to be fair i have a phobia of anything with wings so but just a little bit more tolerant of birds um so yes it's absolutely huge and um but it's gorgeous so in this kit there are 35 colors which surprises me for the size of the kit um it also scares me the amount of black it appears to be um in here so i'm going to move the canvas because let's see if we can just leave that in shop i'm worried about the glare we'll take a look at the um the actual image of the um the picture that i'll be doing and i just love it so yeah there are 35 colors and the only thing with this one is as well there was no thinking about it, there's no square sticker and there was no square sticker in the other kit that i got either and they were both d stash kits um so i don't know whether i don't know whether they've removed them or whether not all kits come with the square sticker i don't know um but i've got this one anyway so um excuse my nail my my, my acrylic uh nail came off um so yeah i've got um I've got this sticker so I can always add that to my logbook when I get my um, logbook um, sorted. So the drills on this, I'm a bit nervous to open these because, whoa, now this is a square drill. Um, I've only done one square drill painting before. It was my very first one. I did a 50 by 70, it was a Harry Potter themed one. Um, and so yeah, I kind of, I started with square drills, so this does not scare me at all. Um, everything else that I've done so far has been round, and it's just been, the that's what's been available with the kits that I've bought. Um, main, I think all, all the ones that I've done so far have just been budget-friendly kits. So, um, as I said, there's going to be a lot of 310 in this kit. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight bags of 310 in this. Oh, so it's going to be quite a dark one. Then we have some grey, some navy blue. So we've got one, two, three, four bags of 939. We have three bags of 938, which is like this brown. And then we have some more brown, some purpley blue and some more grey. I'm trying to find the ABs in this. So there are two ABs by the looks of things. So we've got 317, some more grey, more blue. Then we have this light yellow colour, three bags of those. More grey, 762, which is like a creamy colour. 
and then we have 3855 which is like a kind of a pale orange colour more blues more greys more browns more greys more blues uh, okay so here is here's one of the ABs 138 now there's not a lot there so I don't think um, there's going to be masses of those uh, where's 138 is number one so we can already see some up in her hair here there's some ones here there's some ones here too and I think that's it I can't see any other ones at quick glance so yeah, I think it's mainly, I think it's mainly just in her hair around here. So that will explain why there's not a great deal of um, ABs in um, in that pack. So yeah, we've got that AB there, and then and you can always tell because it goes down to the smaller amounts. So um, yeah, this is the other AB, which is one four one, and that's number two. Let's see what that is. There's a couple couple in the hair um none in the eyes though i would have thought there might have been a couple in the eyes but nope not in the eyes let's see okay <clears throat> there's some up here let's move the canvas down so these dots up here in the sky that's going to be the stars um and then there's a four just in the top right of the camera there there's a couple more over here as well but apart from that, apart from that, I don't see any other twos. So, yeah, there's not a great deal of ABs um, in this, um, which I'm a little bit sad about. But it is what it is. I'm sure it will come out beautiful in the end anyway. So, yeah, 141 as uh, one of the ABs and then 138, both in the smaller packets. But look at the 310. Oh, my gosh. That is a lot of black. Is that C by any chance? <clears throat> Let's have a little look on the canvas. Yep, C is 310. So we've got um, 310 in the night sky all up here. And then let's move these drills out of the way. And then further down, we have, we've got some more C in her hair. Um, I would have thought that's probably mixed with uh, the blacks and the blues. So, yeah, we've got quite a lot of C, C in, in all of the, her hair over here. And then, yeah, just continuing down. So, yeah, yeah, there's quite a lot of black, but it's fine because it's uh, mixed in with um, some other colours as well. So the um, Harry Potter kit that I did had a ton of black, but it was all black around the edges um and it, it it was painful so um i'm hoping this one isn't going to be too bad because especially when i get to work on work on her face as well so yeah i'm really excited to uh, i'm really excited to get started on this one now kitting up shouldn't be an issue it's 35 colors um i have a 60 pot case um so i can use that and then what i do with my extras is i will just fill a pot um and then i just keep the bags um, in the little um, mesh pouch inside the case for when I need to top the pot up and I'll just top them up and then I'll carry on. So looking forward to kitting up this one um, and getting started on this. Yeah, my largest, this is going to be my largest project so far. My husband did ask me where the hell I was going to actually complete this. Um, I said I wasn't sure because I'm not really got enough room really on my desk for it so i might end up in the dining room um with this on the dining room table where i can just spread out um and work on this so yes thanks very much for joining me for this little unboxing i know it's not a new new kit um but it's new to me and i'm excited to share it so thanks very much for joining me today if you've enjoyed the video as always if you can give it a thumbs up if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon to be notified when i upload and drop me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite painting is from diamond art club and i'll sh i'll be sure to go and um to be going check it out so i'll see you all again in the next video bye I can feel it. I can feel it.